Hi, this is Steve Yee, Director of Product Management for SQL Azure. In this walkthrough, I will show you how you can easily migrate an existing on-premises SQL Server database to SQL Azure. By moving your data to SQL Azure, you can free up time and reduce risk associated with managing and maintaining your own SQL Server database servers in-house. Once in SQL Azure, your database is managed for you and your data is highly available, scalable, and reliable and can be accessed from anywhere via the internet. Also, since SQL Azure is based on the same database engine as SQL Server, in most cases few, if any, coding changes will be required to your client applications. In addition, moving workloads to the cloud preserves your investments and ownership in existing applications, yet doesn't impose additional requirements on central IT. We'll start by showing an existing SQL Server database for tracking employee expenses and timesheets and we'll then migrate it to a new database in SQL Azure. The migration process that I'll go through will be in two parts. The first part will be to migrate the database schema, while the second part will be to show how to migrate the table data. Let's start by opening SQL Server Management Studio, or SSMS, and have a look at the database we want to move. We first need to connect to the database, so let's do that. I'm connecting to my local SQL Express instance, but you can connect to SQL Server on a server on your network. So let's see what's in there. Let's expand databases and find our database called Time and Expense Track and navigate to Tables. So this database contains expense reports and time reports submitted by employees, and it also has information on related clients and projects. Let's query employee expenses to make sure we have some data to transfer. We need to create a new SQL Azure database that we can use as our destination for the migration. We could create the new SQL Azure database via the Windows Azure Platform Management Portal, but since we're already in Management Studio, let's do it here. We just need to open a new connection to our existing SQL Azure database server. If you haven't already signed up, you'll need to do that first via www.sqlazure.com. First, we need to enter our connection information here and click Connect. Right-click Databases and choose New Database. A new query window will open with the SQL syntax that we need to create the database. So let's enter a database name of Cloud Time and Expense Track and execute the query. Now right-click Databases again and select Refresh. Great. We now have a new SQL Azure database that we'll use as our destination. Okay, as I mentioned, there are two steps to the migration. We will start with migrating our database schema, and then we'll migrate all of our data. I have a couple of options available to me in SQL Server Management Studio to help me migrate the database schema. One option is to generate a script of the schema from our source database and then execute that script against the SQL Azure destination database. The other option is to extract a data tier application, or DAC package, from the source database and deploy that to our destination. For this demo, we'll go with the first option, so let's choose the Generate Scripts task. The Generate Scripts wizard will appear, outlining the steps the wizard will take us through. So let's click Next here. Now we can choose the database objects we want to generate. In our case, we want everything. So let's leave the settings to choose the entire database and all objects selected. Click Next. OK, here's where we need to specify our scripting options. Since we are targeting SQL Azure Database and not SQL Server, we need to make sure the wizard knows that. We do that by clicking on Advanced. To specify that we want to target the SQL Azure engine, so let's do that. Let's scroll down a little and find the script for the database engine type option. In the drop-down, select SQL Azure Database. You'll notice that the type of script is set to schema only, which is what we want. If our database was very small, we could choose to combine data insert statements with the script, but we'll leave it as schema only. So let's close this window. We'll want to save this script to a file, so let's give it a name. And click Next. The wizard shows a summary of our request. If we expand options, we can see that we are still targeting SQL Azure. So let's click Next, 
to generate the script file. Great, that looks good, so let's close the wizard. Now that we have our script generated, we can deploy the script to our destination SQL Azure database. So let's click on our SQL Azure database in SQL Server Management Studio and select New Query and open our script file. And let's execute the script against our SQL Azure database. Good, that succeeded, so let's make sure our database tables and objects exist. Yes, we have the tables we expect. Now that we have the database schema in SQL Azure, we can think about moving the data. There are a number of options available to move data into SQL Azure database, including using SQL Server Integration Services, or SSIS, using BCP, using the SQL Bulk Copy API, and even using the Generate Script Wizard. The best option will depend on your specific scenario and the amount of data you have to move. In this case, we're going to use the SSIS option, which I think is the simplest and most efficient option and the one that will be most appropriate in many cases. Using SSIS to move the data involves creating an SSIS package and then simply executing the package. The SSIS import and export wizard is the simplest way of doing this. We can start this wizard from SSMS or from Business Intelligence Development Studio, or BIDS for short, that comes with SQL Server. There are some cosmetic differences between the wizards, but the functionality is close to identical. We're going to use SSMS to run the wizard and create an SSIS package, and then I will use the BI Development Studio to examine the details of the package before executing it. Okay, so let's right-click on our source database and select Export Data. Okay, we need to specify our source database. This is already filled in with the correct information, so let's click Next. Next, we have to choose the source database, which is in SQL Azure. In the destination database, we need to choose the .NET Framework Data Provider for SQL Server. Scroll down a little and enter the SQL Azure credentials for our destination database. Click Next. Copy all data is what we want, so select Next. Now we can choose the tables and views we want to move. We want everything moved, so let's check all and click next. We can choose to save the SSIS package or execute the package directly from the wizard. For this demo, I want to show how the SSIS package was created, so let's choose to save the package and not run it just yet. Let's give the package a name and store it in our local file system. The last step of the wizard will summarize our instructions, so let's click Finish to create our SSIS package. Okay, so our SSIS package was created successfully. Okay, let's now run BIDS, or BI Development Studio, to take a look at the SSIS package that was created. We will create a new integration services project and give it a name. Now we want to import the package we already created, so let's delete the existing package first and import the one we created. Now we have our package imported, so let's double click on that to open it. Now we can see all of the SSIS data flow tasks that are needed to move our data. You can see that we have four separate data flow tasks in the control flow tab. These data flows were automatically created for us based on the relationship constraints that we had defined in the database. This allows us to migrate the data without encountering constraint violations. If we double click on the first data flow task, we can see that it moves the data for tables that have no dependencies first. If our schema in SQL Azure was slightly different than the original schema on premises, then we could easily configure the data flows in this tool. However, for this demo, let's just execute the package to move the data. Right click the package and click Execute Package. While the package is running, we can see details on progress. And the tasks in the flow UIs will turn green when successful. Great, we're done. All our flows are green, so the transfer was successful. If we had a problem, we could drill down and see exactly where we had an issue but all looks good here. Now that the data is migrated to SQL Azure, let's run a query to ensure the data is there. 
Let's go to one of our tables in SSMS and run a query. Let's see what's in the expense reports table. So let's execute this query. Good, looks like we have data, so we're done. So here's what we did. We migrated a database from on-premises SQL Server or SQL Express and moved it up into the cloud in SQL Azure. First, we migrated the schema utilizing SQL Server Management Studio. And then we did the data migration using SQL Server Integration Services. Moving this data to the cloud frees up time and reduces risk associated with on-premises server management and maintenance. The data can also be accessed from anywhere, and hosting the data in SQL Azure provides high availability and failover in every instance of SQL Azure database. And few, if any, code changes are necessary for existing applications to access data in the cloud versus on-premises SQL Server. Thanks for watching. Please visit sqlazure.com for the latest information and resources. Thanks.